Our anticipation for Taipei was through the roof. Besides being a cultural hub of arts and technology, neighbored by lush green mountains, one of Taipei's main draws is its rich food scene at every budget level. Its numerous night markets draw crowds from across the world itching for a taste of the dishes that differentiates Taiwan's cuisine from the rest of the world's, all while being made in a street stall smaller than a passenger car. And we were arriving hungry. Now Jenny and I certainly can't visit every individual night market out of the dozens that call this city home. What we can do though is try some of the most famous ones and determine which are worth your time. Because we plan on exploring as much of Taipei as possible in our short time here, you can expect us to wrap up our days hungry and ready to try whatever wild things these markets put in front of us. So what do you say we go out and find some street food? Okay, first market we're in is uh, Shilin Market. Uh, it's one of the most popular markets here in Taiwan. Uh, it's a little bit on the outskirts of town compared to where we're staying, but there's lots of games, uh, lots of people, and most importantly, lots of food. So we're gonna see how the food holds up here and rank all the markets against each other. So let's see uh, how Shilin Market does tonight. All right, Jenny, where do you want to eat? Everything. <laughs> What's the priority here? Get something for you, sausage. Sausage? Yep. All right. Let's try some sausage. Okay, one thing I'm still getting accustomed to is the smell of stinky tofu. It is so, so awful. I was not expecting it to be as bad as it is, but stinky tofu is like top, bottom five worst smell I've ever smelled in my life. All right, we're in line for sausage because the sausage here in Taiwan is supposed to be pretty unreal. So really excited to try it. And anything that's worth eating here in Taiwan always has a line. That's what we've learned so far. <laughs> Um, there used to be a whole underground food court and that is closed and now they're like starting to do renovation and opening that up again but not until mid 2024 so oh. we missed out so we just have the outdoor ones um, but they still say a lot of the stalls have closed compared to before but there's still a lot of food options so far but I'm trying to find what's in here We're trying uh, spicy sausage, so I've been wanting to try Taiwanese sausage for a bit. Um, I guess I'll just jump right in. What, you just push this up like Yeah, this? so this is a uh, big sausage in little, or little sausage in big sausage. Yeah. We double, got the spicy one. Double sausage, double fish time. That is so good. It's really, really good. The meat have so much flavor and so juicy the outside sausage is like it almost just like rice it, it's, it's like rice cake oh it's rice yeah cake. it's a rice cake sausage okay. and then yeah a normal sausage in it mm. so so good is it spicy um not too spicy okay it's a little bit but i think the chili oil is on the bottom so. mm. yeah pretty good i'm not eating two one fish <laughs> this is mine how much were these jenny 
That's like dollar fifty, almost. Uh, no, that's two dollars. Two dollars per. So not bad. cold noodles it's a sesame like a sesame paste almost cold noodle I, I love like peanut noodles but i like it hot usually with a fujimi style but they're making they're cold here yeah so me and Austin are gonna try one together because we both like the hot version but this is cold and this place is called good friend mission guided place Something. Source, just trust me. <laughs> really mixing that in? Yeah, I have to. It's a thick sauce. I'll try a bit. I'm gonna mix it a little bit more, but I'm gonna try a bit now. Flavor's really good. You like it? It's, flavor's amazing, but it's cold. <laughs> and it's freezing outside. I wish it was warm, but it's still really good. Yeah, we're gonna try to find hot peanut noodle, but I don't know how easy that'll be to find. Mm -hmm. Nice. Alright, you want to try a bit? How, mu you? how much was this? It was like 70 yen. Yeah. So, so like, like $2. Two dollars. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Film you? Yeah. yeah. I love the warm version of this, so let's see how the cold version holds up. Flavor is phenomenal. The cold thing is definitely hard to get past, but it's really, really good. I think like if it were just a little warmer out, oh my gosh, this would 100% hit the spot. It's so fantastic. Oh, what the? There are some spots here where you can really see like what used to be a really thriving, booming street might not be quite that anymore since COVID. Um, but it sounds like they're kind of looking forward and trying to bring back that hype and you know, all the people coming. There's still plenty of people, but I think in its heyday, these markets, especially this one here in Shilin, was, uh, they were just crazy, you know? All right, we're doing stinky tofu. Um, a lot of, here, I'll just pull one out. That's probably easier. Um, not as stinky now. We've been around it for a little bit. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna try it. Oh my God, that is freaking incredible. Is that it is really? so good. Mmm. Yeah, really good. Very strong flavor, I'll say that. It's not gonna be everybody's thing, but wow. Especially with the spice in there, that is awesome. Yeah, how about that? Spicy tofu, not so bad. So normally you're not a big fan of the US of spice, or stinky tofu, yeah, right? Yeah, but this one's really good. It's just, once you're done eating your breath, there's like a certain aftertaste, <laughs> and the breath of stinky tofu is... It's pretty rough. It's rough, yeah. and like even I can like, whew. I thought I got used to the smell, and then it's up close. Ah. Did not get used to the smell, but it tastes good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty tasty. It's funny because like when we first got here, the smell like was so so nasty to me. Like it was really bad. And now that like I've been here for a little bit, it's like I don't even really notice it anymore. And then I was able to eat it, and it was fine. So my advice: don't start with the stinky tofu. <laughs> Wean into it a little bit, but um. Yeah, it's surprisingly good. And it was $2, two US dollars for the a entire small, bag. It's a big bag. Yeah, it was a small and it's a pretty big bag. So I would say, um, you know, good value for your money. It'll fill you up if nothing else. Yeah, cool. Yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. It's a video. Well, Jenny, your Mandarin is pretty good. I forgot how to say beef. And I was like, I get two yang rao and one beef. <laughs> close enough. Yeah, close enough. Lamb skewer. Lamb skewer. Good size lamb skewer too. 
Oh, it smells so good. It smells good from here. It's good. Really good. <coughs> Pepper got to me. Okay, sure it did. It's really good. Yeah. Take a bite. Let's see it. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty nice looking skewer here. Swap with me. All right, we're going in on the lamb here. Oh my god, that is so good. Oh, what is that flavor on here? Is that like it's sesame? It's spice. No, a uh, cumin. Cumin. Oh my god. It does the, so much, right? The cumin on here is fantastic. That is so good. I'm not even like a huge lamb person. This is unreal. It was probably the best lamb skewer I've ever had. Told you. Yeah, phenomenal. All right, we got watermelon juice, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see how it is. Give it the old taste. Is it so? Is it icy? What is it like? It's just watermelon. It's juice. just juice. yeah, blended watermelon. I think with ice. Okay. It's so refreshing. It's good. Yeah. Watermelon is not that in season, I think, but it's like still very like it still has some sweetness to it. How much was the drink? I bought the large, so fifty. That's not bad. NTD. Yeah, that's not so like a dollar fifty. Yeah. I don't know. I can't do math. <laughs> Games. You got an oyster pancake I here? Know, but I so, I'm like full. <laughs> uh, you got to try it though, right? All right, poll in the chat. Does Jenny try oyster pancake now, even though she's full? Oh, we'll get it another day. We're here for five days. How much is it? Go find out. Yeah, I just want the pancake. And they do a set? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure. I, if we'll save it for the next market then. Yeah. Next market. Yeah. Too full. One thing I like a lot about this market is you can go to the really touristy popular area, but there's also parts of it that are really not that popular. And so you can kind of like make your own experience out of it. So I've really liked this market so far. It's been having, a, it's, we've been having a good time here, I would say. Ate a good amount of food. Yeah. What do they have over here, Jenny? It's beer flower cake, and then the big chicken cutlet that you see all over Instagram. I wanted to get one, but I'm too full. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty stuffed. One guy is doing everything. Working hard. Yeah. Hey, uh, one bacon and cheese. How you doing? One. Okay. All right, we're trying this. Fried potato and bacon and whatever this cheese is. Uh, let's give it a just, shot. Just get a, just get a zoom in. Yeah. Sorry, not great at video. They taste like boardwalk food, like Jersey Shore, just like fried, salty. Oh, it's it's sinful, but it's delicious. It's so good. It's simple, but it works. If you get sick, we know what's it's from. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Shilin Market, really, really good. Very strong start, right, Jenny? 
very good. We yeah. um, we got a lot of different food. Yeah, we got to try a lot. And um, we still want to try a lot more. Yeah, there's still plenty left to try. Uh, prices were pretty good. I would say like I wasn't like blown away. Like some of the things were a little expensive. Like the potato was a little pricey for what it was, but. And some of the portion sizes were a little small, but otherwise I felt like the prices were pretty pretty good. I thought um, the food was all fantastic. Everything tasted really good. The crowds, there were a lot of crowds in some places, but in other parts you could go, there weren't crowds. But anything that was really worth trying had a line, I noticed. So yeah, overall, pretty solid market. I would say it's gonna be hard to beat from the next one. So it's the biggest one in Taiwan. So we started off pretty strong. Um, so yeah, you'll you'll know when you're here because you'll get off the metro and it'll smell like food right away. It'll smell like stinky tofu mainly. No, it smelled good. No, it, it did smell really good when we got here. It smelled like barbecue. Yeah. So yeah, Shilin Market, good good solid entry in the deck. Full of food selfie. <laughs> Okay, we're at Ninxia Night Market tonight. Uh, it's our second night here in Taipei. And we're gonna see what this has to offer. This one's a lot smaller, but it's a lot closer to where we're staying, which is right by the main station. And uh, because it's smaller, we already had dinner. We had a lovely birthday dinner for moi at uh, Di Taifeng. Ding Taifeng, yep. Yep, Di, Ding Taifeng, uh, which was very, very nice. So we're just gonna come here, maybe get some snacky snacks and uh, some dessert and play a couple games and just See what the vibe is like. See what the feel of this market is like. So uh, let's go check it out. <laughs> Found the food. Found the food. It was quick, and there's a lot of them. Yep. Oh, you smell that? It smells good. Sticky tofu. This place is crazy. It's just one straight road and there are people everywhere. Every single stall is crowded in some capacity. Is it good? <laughs> it's good. No, it's really good. Cilantro? Oh no, weird. But it's good. Okay. How much was it? Sixty. Yeah. That's not bad. Okay, let me try it. All right. Um, so you just bite right into it, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I like the peanut flavor a lot. The cilantro is a little weird. Like it doesn't feel like it matches a bunch, but I do like the flavor. Yeah, that's not bad. It's weird looking. But hey, pretty good. You have to try this when you're here. It's a traditional snack at a night market here. So, very good dessert. Mm -hmm. 
There's so much like weird food here. Like there's a lot of food that we did not see before, like duck blood soup and pig blood soup and stuff. Uh, and the prices are pretty good so far. I mean, they're not like spectacular, but I would say they're pretty solid, so yeah. Huh? Beer? Yeah. It's crazy you walk through here and there will literally just be grease like spitting out at you. It's kind of nuts, but I really like the vibe of this market a lot. It's a ton of fun to just walk through and explore and, you know, see what there is to eat. <laughs> A little combo here, fun combo. We're doing snail and we're doing chicken feet. So I'll just pull out chicken feet first because I'm more familiar with that. Um, so here's a little piece of chicken foot. Oh, it's actually really good. That's tasty. It's a little cold, but it tastes good if nothing else. Um, yeah, these are like meant to be eaten cold, like as a snack with like beer and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, good chicken feet. I'm preparing myself for this now. It's a big... Good thing she gave us two. Good thing she gave us two. She gave us three. Yeah. I... Ah. Hold on. I got it, I got it. Okay, a lot of mental gymnastics to try this, but I'm going for it. Whole thing. Uh -huh. Um, it's okay. It's um, it doesn't touch the escargot I've had before, but um, it's got a nice little taste to it, like a nice kind of salty. Actually, has a little bit of a spicy taste to it too. Yeah, I asked what a spicy one, so it help you. Okay. Yeah. It's not bad. I wouldn't get it again, but it's decent. Uh, yeah, I'll show you a piece. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, not bad. I wouldn't mind snacking on it, but I probably wouldn't order it for myself again. The chicken feet is pretty good. I will say that. I would I would get the chicken feet again. I'll show you a big piece, just to give you an idea of what that looks like. So, yeah. That's good chicken feet. I like it. Then we, this entire bowl was like, it was 200 NTD, so I guess it was like, 650 or so so not terrible not bad but a little pricey for you know all this meat but they did pile it in so i guess you know could be worse somebody Come wants on. something braised chicken feet tendon and everything it's spicy it's braised perfectly with like a soy sauce base yeah that's good i think it's better than the chicken feet we had in korea they make it differently but I love you. Good with a beer. Yeah, definitely good with beer. What were we saying? Last time I had it, I think it was like a top pot. It's conch, like right? Conch, yeah. So it's like a type of snail, sea snail. And you said you like it better here than a top pot. There's so much flavor to it, and it's spicy. Yeah, it doesn't get watered down, which is nice. And it's like crunchy. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. I like that. This night market has a lot more traditional food compared to the other one where it's like more, there's a street of traditional, and then the street for, you know, the tourists, like your cheesy potatoes. Yeah, but this is authentic. No. I think I like this one better. Me too. A little chaotic. But it's better. It's the full experience. Yeah. The lines are crazy, right? Yeah. Like, the food here looks amazing, but 
we want to wait in line for half an hour again. No, not tonight. Not tonight, but another night. I want the oyster pancake. That one, we will. Yeah, we'll do that oyster tomorrow omelet. for sure. What do you think, Jenny? Good, good market? Good market. Want juice? No. So yeah, we're gonna play some games, find something to do, but we just kind of did a walk through this market. We had already eaten dinner, so there wasn't really much we could get in the way of food, but it was still really fun. I love the vibes. I kind of prefer this market. I think it feels like a more authentic experience than yesterday's. So right now I have this market as my favorite so far. Um, Jenny, what was the name of it again? Ningxia. Ningxia. So right now that's my favorite market of Taipei so far. So far. So much tofu pudding. I want tofu pudding. Tomorrow, I promise. Okay. Are you guys ready? Can you eat now? Oh. Okay, well, there goes our winning. I'll fix it. Okay. Oh, damn, awesome, awesome, good start. Oh, the dog's going after it. <laughs> awesome. A lot harder than I thought. Just remember, this is what our travel budget goes towards. <laughs> when, when we're eating street food, it's because we spend money on stuff like this. So, How does can... this go in? Cause you threw before I was ready. Oh. All right, after being soaked by rain deep in the mountains outside the city, it was hard to be motivated to eat anything outdoors. We'll make up for it later, I promise. But for tonight, it looks like we're eating at Taiwan's finest fast food establishment. Okay, so no night market tonight because it's been raining quite a bit. So instead we're doing McDonald's. So we'll do double night market at some point to make up for it. But here's McDonald's footage. We got a prosperity burger beef sandwich thingy whatever that means so prosperity burger <laughs> is it good too much sauce it's like a peppery just a peppery sauce most barbecue sauce want to get it again you want to get it again yeah I, I was a little disappointed in general we had so many good mcdonald's meals in japan and korea that this one kind of just didn't live up to the hype so yeah definitely back to the market tomorrow mm -hmm. uh, Okay, we're at Zimong Ting Market. Oh, there's some on the camera. Hold on. There we go. Okay, we're at Zimong Ting. I think I'm saying that right. Market today. Um, 
we had to move neighborhoods because our uh, hostel had bed bugs. So isn't that fun? Um, so now we're in a different neighborhood and this is our closest night market now. So this is our little home night market and uh, the third one that we have visited here in Taipei. So let's, uh, let's go see what it has to offer. <laughs> okay, which street smells better? That street or that street? I don't know. This street, right? The showroom bar, let's go. So far, a lot of places open, a lot of storefronts, but not really any street food stalls or anything. So we're just gonna kind of keep wandering around and looking. But I think we're in that street that I call the Simin, uh, uh, Simon Street. So it's just like a bunch of shops and stuff. But we need to find that street with just this food, which yeah. it's a little harder than harder than we thought. Yeah, usually it's pretty obvious, and here it's really not. Um, I mean, it's pretty to it's walk really around, big. but. Yeah, that's, there's, there's, there's nowhere to really go that like has obvious food in front of us, so we'll see if we can find it. We're trying to figure out where the actual night market and stalls are. This like, is like the whole district. Yeah. There's just all shopping. Yeah. But we don't want to shop. We want to eat. Yeah, we don't we're not interested in shopping necessarily. We we want food. We want dinner. Uh so let's head back to where we came from, those tents and we stuff. We want to head that way. Yeah. So no the white tent, like right outside the bus, those are just like part, like what's it called? Like where they souvenirs and stuff, like knickknacks. They look too fancy to be food. Okay. Okay, we got cheese taboki, uh, which is a what is it? Korean. Yeah, it's a Korean dish. Um, and I thought, you know, I had it in Korea and it was spectacular. So it's like, oh, let me try it here. Uh, they gave us mostly soup, cabbage, and an egg. There's like three of the actual rice cake. Oh. And it's honestly just rice cake. There's no cheese in there. Not the same as the Korean one, huh? No. It, it's pretty disappointing. Yeah. Yeah, it's just rice cake. The soup is okay, but honestly, yeah. not that much to write home about. It's Expensive. not supposed to be a soup. It's even supposed to be like a sauce, but they made it into like a soup. I was it's, like, this does not look authentic. Yeah, like it's, I don't know how we're supposed to carry this around. This is not going to work. So yeah, kind of disappointed. A bit of a waste of money in my opinion. This was, I think, about $3, which is a lot. So The one we got in Korea was like a dollar. Yeah. Actually, it was free. It was free, yeah. It's a disappointing buy. At least you get an egg out of it. Yeah. Oh well. We're not off to a strong start, but I think we can. I think we can come back. I think we can rally. So let's just find something else that tastes good. That's it. I want to come over here. There's more over there, but this is just one tiny alleyway of it. We need to find the other alleyway. But let's go back over this way, that way. Let's Which go. way? Back to the main.
鸡汤哦，谢谢。So this is the big sausage, the little sausage thing is like 80. We paid 60 for like a very, very popular stall. In Chile. In Chile, yeah. And this one is 80 and it looks like oh, well, about the same size, but it doesn't look as good. It looks a little dry at first. Yeah. So, yeah. Crazy difference. Yeah, the prices here are a little bit more expensive than like what we went to the other day. They're the most expensive so far. Yeah, and it's like very modernized food compared to that traditional one we went to. The Ningxia one was yeah. a lot traditional. This one was a lot more modernized. Got some chicken. Fried chicken with this like spicy like... Th Thai chutney. Thai chutney, yes, that was right. It smells awesome. Amazing. I kind of use it like chopstick, but I think it would be better just to stab. Oh, it smells amazing. It's good? Good. Very good. How's the flavor? I like the spice. That's pretty good. I like that dry rub a lot. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, I like that. Good, just solid chicken. It was a pretty decent price, right? Like three bucks. Yeah. So almost three dollars. Got a nice little kick to it, but it's not like too spicy or anything. It's 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 nice. It's a good snacking meal. So there we go. We we made up for the first one. That's good. They like spicy chicken nuggets. They are. Yeah, really good. But a lot more flavorful. Yeah, way more flavor. Yeah. yeah. I see some people coming over here with like skewers and stuff and some food, so there might be more food options over there. Yeah. Oh, map? it's a game thing. It's not a map. It's a game thing. I guess you gotta collect stuff. We're not here for games. So this doesn't help us at all. No, it doesn't. It's all just stuff. It's just stuff. It's what? What is that thing? Not farmers market. What do they call it in the U.S.? Too? It's just stuff. Antique market. Yeah, farmers. Not farmers market, but yard sale. No. That's what it feels like. Yeah. But there's a beautiful dog right there. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of insane. Like, there's really no food around here, other than like the restaurants, which are already open all day. Yeah. So you're not really getting a ton from but this market in my opinion. Our hotel, our hotel is at, it still count in this area, like it's still yeah. in this district. Yeah. And there's a bunch of food stalls there. So, so we might just go there and get Yeah, where our stay. hotel is, is kind of our last hope for this market because right now, um, other than the chicken, which is pretty good, yeah. but I mean like the vibe of this place, like, I don't know, just not really feeling it so far. Feels very tourist centric and the prices definitely reflect that. <laughs> Okay, I think we might have found some more stuff here. This looks promising. We gotta try the cheesy corn, right? You were taking a photo? Yeah. Oh, okay. you, you want to take the first bite? Yeah. Oh. 
Okay, we're doing some cheesy corn. It looks promising. It's a little pricey, but... It's really cheesy. Yeah, it's pretty cheesy. Um, it's good. I don't feel like it's anything I couldn't make at home, though. Um, it's, it's tasty. I don't know if I'd get it again, but it's okay. Definitely better than the sandwich, that's for sure. What do you think? It's corn with cheese. Costs 100 yen. Yen, right? NTD. NTD. And how um, much? I mean, you could get a can of corn, right? Grocery store. 25 cents. Yeah. With some cheese on top? Yep. No. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call this night market a bust. I was pretty disappointed with uh, most of the food, other than the chicken. That was really the only thing that blew me away, and even that was kind of pricey for what it was. Um, okay. Yeah, so I yeah can't really recommend this market. I would say it's definitely my least favorite of the three we've been to so far, and um, no. yeah, hopefully tomorrow's is better. Uh, so. In Shirley Market, I got. Three skewers for 200. Yeah. About one box of skewers, maybe like one chicken skewer, and that was 150. Yeah. So, and Shilin is a pretty touristy market, so I mean, this is just like next level in the sense of prices and touristy, and yeah, definitely not traditional food. If you're into the food, I would not come to this one. So. Some people might like. I feel like if you started out with this, you'd be like, wow. But you I, start off with the best two. I disagree. It's very dis disjointed there you don't really know where the food is i would say in the end i i wouldn't recommend this really to anybody no street like uh, street um games yeah really no games either other than like cranes and stuff but mm. yeah i mean at the other markets we had like lots of games to play and stuff and for pretty cheap too for, yeah very cheap and we've got nothing here so yeah bad market This is way better, right? Yep. All these places are closing up. Yeah, see, these are all open during the day and they're fantastic. They're delicious and cheap. Yeah, and then the stuff that opens at night is exactly what you said at the beginning of this trip, which is that some of the night markets will be more expensive because of the tourist experience of going to the night market. Yeah. So, yeah. If you come here during the day for food because this area there is right so there. much good food. Other street. Yeah. So that is the night market. This is like a normal street and it has better food. Okay, so just as a follow-up, we are here during the day and um, it is like so lively. There's so many places open. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you could come here during the day and have a way better experience than coming here at night unless you want to, like, shop for souvenirs. I would say that's, like, the one thing that this place has that's kind of cool. But other than that, yeah, like, just come during the day. All the good restaurants are open <laughs> during the day anyways, so, yeah. We are at the end of the Green Line here in Taipei and we're going to Rao He Market. Um, it's a little bit further away than the rest of the night markets in Taipei, but it's supposed to be really great right on the river and uh, lots of good snack and food. So really excited to see what there is to eat there and uh, maybe play some more games.
sweet potato balls. Crispy. They're not a lot inside of them, um, but they're yummy. They're tasty. Tasty right. potato. Sweet potato balls, right? Yeah. Very yummy. Potatoey. You know? Not bad. Kind of starchy. Oh. Crap sticks. Got a spicy one and a sweet sauce one. Let's try it. Very good. Very crispy. Look at that. I think you'll like it, Alton. You think I'd like it? Yeah. Here, let me. Oh, here, let me give it a try. Wow, that's really good. Right? Yeah, I like that a lot. I might have another bite actually. Yeah. yeah. Cause I know you like crab, but you just don't like the belt. Yeah, that's good crab. I'm very crispy. I love that spice on that. That's that's awesome. This place is packed, but there is so much good food here. Crazy. Oh, it's we're like going over here. We gotta try this place, right? Yeah, it's popping. This place is popping too. <laughs> All right, spicy. Don't wait, wait, wait! Your camera's acting weird. It's like flashing. Okay, never mind. It's filming now. It's like keep going black because it thinks your eye is on the thingy. Oh, okay. Is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. Okay. Spicy duck blood soup. Yum yum, looks delicious. Very excited to try it. So first I want to try the actual broth. It's really good. Broth is actually very tasty. Um, all right. I guess I just go right for the bite, right? Oh, it's so slippery. <laughs> That's pretty tasty, actually. Really? I'm serious, yeah. It's got a nice little flavor to it. I don't normally like jello texture, but it's nice to just like chew on. It's really easy to chew and swallow. Not super chewy. This is pretty great. I would 100% cook that again. Really? Duck blood, too. Definitely, definitely recommend it. Yeah, right, let try me try it. it. What do you think? It's not irony. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. I'm just not used to all, like jello texture, like this kind of like texture kind of thing. But flavor of the soup is really good. Flavor is good. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about that. Be good with some noodles. Yeah. But you just got blood. <laughs> this soup is legitimately one of the best things I've eaten at any of these markets. I absolutely love it. Really took me off guard, but I'm so glad that I got it. So yeah, keep an open mind at these places. You might be surprised. Even Jenny, who thought she didn't like a lot of the dishes here, has ended up really liking the Taiwanese market version of them. So yeah, definitely worth you know trying new things. Jenny, you know we have to do it, right? We have to try the chicken ass. Here. One beef, one lamb, and one chicken ass? Yep, okay. that's the combo right there. Okay. Zero digger. Oh, this is our pizza zero digger. How's the drink? Yummy. Passion fruit. One thing I really like about this market is that the food itself does not repeat. 
in Shuling Market, it's like once you hit another street, it's like the same kind of food stalls again with the same type of food. But here, we've been getting like a lot of varieties. All right, this is, and I'm not joking, chicken ass. So we're gonna try, we're actually gonna try it. Let's go for it. It's an interesting flavor. Um, is it, it just fatty it, chicken, right? It's just kind of fatty chicken, yeah. It tastes like chicken. Oh, I got a crunchy bit. Don't know what that was, but yeah. Probably wouldn't get it again, but it, it's like fatty chicken, but we had to get the chicken ass, we had to try it. Oh, we did. I like this market a lot. There's been some hits, some misses, but the prices have been so good that it's kind of like not the end of the world if you don't love something because you can just go and get something else. Um, yeah, I really like this market. It might be my favorite of the ones we've visited so far. Um, I don't know. Give it a little more time and we'll we'll see if that's the case. All right, we've got some more stinky tofu. It's a fry version. So the difference between stinky tofu and regular tofu is basically this is just fermented tofu. So it's a little more stanky. I think that's a good word for it. Uh, let's try it. Mm, that's awesome. It's got the flavor of stinky tofu, but it's got a nice like spice on it. Um, it's still juicy. Like you can see on there, there's still plenty of juice. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Good for snacking on as you're walking around here because it's like hard to eat all at once. Yeah, that's good. Good cocoa. It's got like a, a sugary glaze to it too, which took me off guard, but yeah. More sticky cocoa. For the haters that thought I didn't like it. It's not bad. He's going straight for the beer. Come on, baby. Did you get it? Okay. What do you think? <laughs> it's good. We only spent not that much money yet on food and like game. Eight dollars each. Yeah. And we've eaten a lot. Eaten a lot of different varieties of stuff. The prices here are the best so far. Mm -hmm. And the food has been pretty quality for the most part. Yeah. Other than a skewer, the skewer is better at the shilling market. But yeah, I think if you want more like normal foods, shilling market is kind of good because there's so many options of the same thing. But this just has so many different things. Yeah. So many different varieties. Yeah, which I like. I like options. And the tofu fries are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know that it's going to be so good. It's freshly baked, so it's a little hot. Yeah. Should I just go for it? Yeah, absolutely. It's hot. It smells amazing. A little hot? No, a little too cold. I can't buy ice cream. <laughs> okay, give it to me then, because I can. Unlike Jenny, I can actually eat ice cream. <laughs> oh my god. Is it better than the melon bun one we got in Japan? I don't know. It's pretty close. It's so much a strawberry ice cream. The bun is so good. It's like it's flaky. It's like it's more like bread than the last one. Oh, yeah. it's like the no, you, pineapple buns are amazing. Yeah, pineapple buns are where it's at. Oh, that is so good. You have to try it. Okay. 
we walked by uh what just random cuts of meat place and i'm pretty sure one looked like the end of a colon kind of like the anus fit <laughs> i don't know if it is but that's what it looked like nice all right, so we made it to this end. We're gonna walk back towards the metro station. This market's awesome. Like, I really, really love it. It's, uh, there's so much, like, good food and there's such a good variety of food. There's just funny little games and things going on. I, I and the prices are spectacular. 100% recommend Rao, Rao He? Rao He? Rao He? I think it's Rao He. Rao Ho. Rao Ho. Yeah, Rao Ho Market. Like, yeah because we're right by the river. It's right along the river. It's the last stop on the Green Line. Absolutely incredible. Really, like we barely spent $10 each and we are both pretty full. So you can get more than enough of your fill for a pretty great price. So yeah, I was glad we made the visit. On one of those as a kid. Oh, Jenny's re-experiencing trauma. F's in the chat for Jenny. All right, so yeah, that was a, uh, Rahe Market, um, which got one market left for tomorrow, but right now this is my clear cut winner. Uh, we'll see what we get tomorrow though. Chicken. Barbecue chicken. Chicken cutlet. Amazing. One Amazing. last thing before we left. Mm -hmm. Good street market? Favorite one. All right. All right, last night market here in Taipei, and we're doing two to make up for the McDonald's night because of the rain. <laughs> so we're going to Huasi Market as well as uh, Guangzhou Market. Uh, they're right next to each other, and both are like smaller than the big ones we've been to. So yeah, we're gonna just see how the food is there and see how they compare to the other ones we've been to. So enjoy. Okay, we're at Huasi Market, and it's just a lot of places to sit down and eat. Um, there's definitely stalls, but it's a short market, not a ton of, you know, options. And um, yeah, pretty short, not a lot of people either. Like it's uh, not crowded at all. So maybe we'll just get like one thing here and then go to the Guangzhou one instead. Cause this one's kind of not popping. <laughs> She can't go wrong with this. It's a big one. Yeah. It's hot. Delicious. Good, better than the shillin one? Yeah, I just like straight up sausage. I like all sausage, but I think this was the best one so far. Yeah. It was better than the one the mountain one I was going to. Yeah. It was nice because there was like no line either, so we were yeah. able to just like kind of go and get it. It's starting for me a line. Yeah, starting, this is starting now. Really good. Press yeah. Up. Not a lot here that's open, not a lot that's really calling out to us, and it's a lot of like sit down stuff, and we kind of want to like go from place to place and try different things, so. Yeah, just not really feeling this one. It's, um, meh. We'll see if uh, Guangzhou Market ends up being more impressive though. The sausage was good, but, oh, and there's a scooter behind me. Finishing up the sausage. Mm -hmm. So we're giving it one more shot. I'm trying to see what, what I should order. Lots to choose from. A lot more sit-down places here. But otherwise, I mean, it's kind of dead. There's like nobody really out. It is a Sunday night, but. Like older folks eat in here. Yeah. 
But it's nice because less lines. We could just sit down and eat. Yeah. I might get some of that. Some good looking fried rice. Good looking fried rice. Add some spice to it. You wanna eat first? Yeah. Let me yeah. you. Alright. This is gonna be very, very hot, I can tell, but. Mm. That's so good. So flavorful. It's got a nice little pepper to it. Mm hmm. Look, there's like pepper in there. Yep. Pepper flakes. Or actually, no, full on pepper. No, it's just straight up pepper. So we should stop right here. Yeah. Yummy? Yeah, solid. It, I mean, that came out in like what, three minutes? Yeah. It was insane. It was like out and ready, just like that. So, awesome. I really do like that it's just easy to kind of grab a table, sit down, and get a pretty big dish for cheap. Like this fried rice was not even four dollars. Yeah. It's a pretty filling serving. So yeah, happy that uh, we stopped by here. Older locals here. Yeah, a lot of older locals. Yeah. So this must have been the happening spot back in the day. Yeah. So excited to see what the Guangzhou market looks like in comparison, if it's similar in vibe to here, because. This is very different from the other night markets we've been to. It almost reminds me more of like uh, Osaka or um, Jeonju in a way. Had to get the rice. I swear if I drop another chopstick. Sorry. Got the rice. Got the stir fried pork. I'm beef, excited because, oh it's beef? Yeah. Oh, stir fried beef. I'm excited because the fried rice is pretty spectacular, and it's got a really nice kick to it, so I'll bet you the, the pork is going to be good. Or beef, I'm sorry, beef. Some veggie, I was like, I need almost some veggie. Alright, show them how you do it. Mmm, that flavor is amazing. Good? Very good, try some. So we're out of the food area, and we're just finishing up uh, Nisa, Nisa, Nisa Market. Yeah, I think. Huh? Fossi? Okay, hold on, let me try that again. All right, so we're basically in like the spa area now. So we finished up the food part of uh, Fossi. It was okay, like it was good, um, low key. Definitely wouldn't say like, if you only have time for one night market, come here. Um, a lot of stuff has been shut down or closed or whatever. Maybe just because it's Sunday night, but just a lot of like older locals kind of hanging out here and the prices were okay, but a little pricey. Um, yeah, it was a decent market. Let's go see what the Guangzhou market looks like. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be all the night markets we do here in Taipei. Welcome to, yep, welcome to Guangzhou market. What should we eat? Should we walk to the end and then? Yeah. Plenty of things to eat here. Okay, there's way more options here. We definitely should have come here to eat instead because there's not too many crowds, but there's a ton more food. Some really wild food options here. A lot of pig feet, yeah. Um, this is where we should have just gone straight to, in my opinion. A lot of traditional food, right? A lot of traditional food. A lot of pig feet. A lot of frogs we've seen so far. Eel. Also, we just saw a whole ass kidney. <laughs> Sorry, no cussing, I forgot. Plenty of people here, but definitely not overcrowded like the like last night's market. Like it's um, kind of like nice because there's no, really no lines, so you can kind of just go eat whatever you want to eat. And then there's lots and lots of tables to sit at uh, along the backs of the stalls. So yeah, really like the vibe of this place so far. Which is the stalls right next to the 
salt is just smells so good and it's really not like so unfortunate that this dessert one is right next to the stinky tofu because it smells so good and you get a sudden whiff of stinky tofu every now and then it just kind of ruins it don't but just stinky tofu stinky tofu is good this one smells like stinky stinky <laughs> All right, scallion pancake right off the street. Mm. Fantastic. A lot of egg in there, but it was cooked so well, correctly made. Um, yeah, it's really, really tasty. Um, nice crispy, like nice crispy uh, flavor to it. It was only 50, so not even two dollars. Yeah, awesome deal. And these things are filling. Yeah, very good. All right, this is one of those custard-filled dough things. It's unreal. That is so good. Worth the wait. Yeah, worth the wait. It's like um, it's kind of thick. Yeah. In the middle, but it's really, really tasty. It's almost like a ricey texture. It's weird, but. That is so good. That was that was like what? 20. 60 cents each? Yep. That's crazy. Oh, that is awesome. Good dessert. Good market. I really like this market. Probably my second or third favorite. There's so much going on. Lots of good food. Lots of really nice people. Um, very impressed with the Guang Chao market. Definitely recommend. If you only have time for a couple, this is one I would definitely make happen. And a lot of traditional food. A lot of good options. So, yeah. Happy we came here. So what does the final ranking look like? Well, we're not too concerned about it now that we're so full, but if you only have time for one market, you certainly can't go wrong with Raohe, in my opinion. This ended up being my favorite thanks to its variety, affordability, and just overall vibes. But the best part about Taipei is it's all subjective. And as long as you leave with a full belly, then I would say you had yourself a successful night market visit.